guys, how's it going? This is James Tripp. This is the Hypnosis Without Trance blog. It's the 2nd of April 2011. Now, I'm going to do something today that I have never ever done before on the Hypnosis Without Trance blog, and that is to show another hypnotist. And the guy that you're about to see, he has a book out called Provocative Hypnosis. It's an absolutely fantastic book. I highly recommend you check that book out if you haven't had the opportunity to do so. His name is Jürgen Rasmussen. He's from Norway and this guy is just so wonderfully creative in his hypnosis and his change work. Whenever I spend any time with him, I absolutely get my mind blown. I come away so overflowing with ideas and so, so many possibilities. The clip you're about to see is of Jürgen stealing a bit of hypnosis from me. So I've done some hypnosis earlier in the day. This is at the Change Phenomena Conference in 2010. And later in that day, Jürgen kind of hijacks what I was doing earlier, he brings this guy back up and kind of hijacks the place, the experience that that guy was in, uh, and, and leads him to new and wonderful and interesting places. Have a look and, and uh, check out how he does this, because it really is a work of art. As you continue to look at that point, you feel your fingers gripping the card. You look at that point, I'd like you to repeat inside your mind only the words, I am going to drop this, I am going to drop this, over and over on a loop as you continue to look at that point. You continue to repeat those words. You can go ahead, you can try and drop it, find your fingers lock and stick solidly. As you try and drop it, your fingers lock and stick solidly. The harder you try, the more solidly. What's that like now? As you try and they lock and stick, <coughs> and you try and they lock and stick, just locking and sticking, locking and sticking. In fact, they will continue to stick until, <sighs> right there, it drops. Thank you very much. And your arm returns fully to normal. Now. All right, would you be willing to demonstrate a deep trance phenomenon for me? Cool. Do you remember the state you were in here when you did the stuff with James? Okay. If you were to stand up and just notice that for each step that you walk towards here, deeper that trance becomes. That's right. Even closer. That's right. There you go. Even closer. Even closer. That's right. Even closer. There you go. All the way in. Very, very deep. And I'd like you to turn towards here, that spot there, and just lift your arm a little bit up here. Now, I have a question for you. I want you to focus very, very intensely on this. You're standing there. My question for you is what breed, color, and size does that dog there have? Take a look there, right there, right there, right there. What breed, color, and size does that dog there have? As you see that now clearly. What type of dog is that? Yeah, yeah. And, and how big is it, approximately? Quite big. Quite big, yeah. And notice what it's like when I snap my fingers and that dog becomes twice as big now. Look at that. Take a look at that and you take a look at his eyes. Now, as I touch you on the shoulder, the dog will disappear. Boom, close your eyes, close your eyes. And I'd like you to go twice as deep because the next time you open your eyes, you're only going to be able to see right through me. I will have disappeared. You will not see through me. You will just see right through me when you next open your eyes. In the same way that you walk past people and you've kind of seen them, but you, you, you haven't seen them. You look for those card keys and they're there, but they're not really there. So when I tell you to open your eyes, I'll be invisible. Open your eyes now. You can hear my voice. What can you see now? When I snap my fingers, you'll just see my head. Now, hey, dude, what happened to my body? You can see my head. What happened to my body? Close your eyes. Go twice as deep. And the next time you open your eyes, these suggestions will be canceled, and you'll enter into your normal 
waking state. Now, open your eyes. Thank you. Please, please keep standing there. Now, I, I want to give some credit to James. He, he's, I've never endorsed a hypno, hypnosis product before. He has a product called uh, Hypnosis Without Trance. I think it's really, really good. So that's Jürgen Rasmussen. What did you think of that? I absolutely love that clip. I love pretty much everything that Jürgen does. I think it's super, super high quality stuff. Now, I want to let you know about an opportunity to train with Jürgen, to learn from him directly, because he's going to be in the UK, in Doncaster, from the 21st to the 24th of April, teaching his approach to hypnosis and change work. Now, I do not endorse people through this blog. You already know that. The reason I'm endorsing Jürgen is because I believe that his stuff is super, super cool, and I am going to be there myself. So if you want to be there too, the 21st to 24th of April, 2011, check out the link below this video, find out more about it, and um, if you decide to come along to the training, then I'll meet you there. I will see you there. Okay, take care. I'll see you in a week or two with some more hypnosis tips, insights, uh, and generally interesting stuff.